Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How do you feel today? I hope you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is an English for grade 5. We are learning unit number 10. Stop one heart from breaking. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, this is lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it or you can adjust it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number 6 under the title of comprehension, we will learn today unit number 10, stop one heart from breaking and we will cover up page number 90 and 91. Before in English for grade 5, we have already learned about four things and how we can recite the poems with actions. I hope you remember it. If you may not, you can watch this video lecture again. Our today's students learning outcomes are write central idea of the given poem in simple language, recite the poem with actions, recognize, find out, create and use more rhyming words. Yes, my dear fellow teachers and my dear students, so today we are going to cover up these SLOs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Quran, Surah al hujrat verse number 10, the believers are but community. Therefore, make peace between your community and be careful of your duty to Allah that mercy may be had on you. Yes, my dear fellow teachers and my dear students, this beautiful verse is telling us about that how we can live with each other, how we should behave with each other because all Muslims are like a community and when we are a community, so definitely we are following, we are following the brotherhood so definitely so this is why this beautiful verse is telling that allah almighty also loves those persons those love with his community so almighty allah also bless us strength to love and be kind with his community amen so yes my dear students let's refresh our knowledge pre-reading questions are there what do you think the title of this poem is referring to and when did you help someone last time? Yes, respond these questions to your teacher and my dear teachers. Pause the video, get answer from your students and then come back. Excellent job. I hope you also love to help someone because it's a good habit and also Allah Almighty loves those persons who helps others. Okay, yes, my dear students. So now we are going to start our poem. So, you should stand up in your class and this is unit number 10, stop one heart from breaking page number 90. So, we are going to start our poem, you should stand up in your class, okay. So, we are going to perform poem. Yes, be ready in your class and read with me. Okay, we are going to start, are you ready my dear students? Okay, excellent. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can cool life the aching, or cool one pain, or help the one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Yes, my dear students, this beautiful poem, I think you have learned nicely and this is written through Emily Dickinson. So what she is saying to us, I hope you have done it nicely and now we will do that. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life taking or cool one pain. Yes, so what is in vain? Without success. That thing that we are not able to get, this is called in vain. When we are unsuccessful. And ache, suffer from continuous pain. When we are paining, when any other part of body is paining. So this is called ache. Cool pain to make one person happy. So, ever you cool, 
pain of anyone think about it okay so what was next or help one fainting robin onto his nest again so this emily dickinson what she is saying she is giving comparison that if there is an any fainting robin robin who is not able to get his nest so if i may help it so it is also so best i shall not live in vain so if i may help any fainting robin any a single deed of kindness so it means i have got the purpose of my life so who wrote this poem emily dickinson yes what is faint to lose consciousness to lose consciousness this is called faint post reading questions are there can you tell what the poem is about when you help someone who do you feel yes when you help someone how do you feel respond these questions to your answer and then come back excellent job my dear students so let's theme what is the central idea theme is always called my dear students central idea of a poem the poem speaks about sympathy and soft heartedness towards others doing these things to others makes life purposeful and meaningful one can live each day with solace in heart and mind yes my dear teachers and my dear students this beautiful poem is giving us a lesson so do you know which lesson it is giving it is giving us that we must be polite and we must show kindness towards other if we are so kind with others so it bless us so relief so we will get that we have got the purpose of our life so do you know what is the purpose of our life our purpose of life is not that we should eat we should wear clothes no our these all things are basic needs my dear students but our purpose of life is to be kind with others not just human beings rather animals birds and all creatures of almighty allah we have to be kind with them if we will if they are sick if they are if they need anything so we should help if they are sick if they are in pain so we should try to cool their pain my dear students because this this act also is being loved by allah almighty so next is if one can help others to decrease their difficulties and sufferings one achieves help cannot be extended towards humans and all the creatures birds animals and fish it is see means all type of birds and animals this beautiful poem is telling us the theme is giving us that love is not extended to till just human being already we have discussed that i am also telling that we should love with the creature of almighty allah even birds animals it is see all things that seeks mercy because how we accept that when we do anything so we accept that others should be kind with us polite with us and they should forgive us so we should be same like that matter students so let's promise today so even that you can also be kind with your classmates you can help them my dear students if your students if your classmate need anything so you can share your things if he or she needs help in studies so you can help and that helping will get you on high ranks keep remember my dear students okay let's perform an activity in your class yes my dear teachers so be ready divide class in groups and each group will present the poem in front of class each poem, group will read poem with actions loud with accurate reproduction of sounds letters and words yes that poem now i have taught you my dear students my dear teachers make group of students two groups and in the group shape get this poem in front of your te teachers and class i am waiting for you and then come back 
Welcome back and I hope you have enjoyed a lot while singing this poem. Excellent job. So, let's perform an activity on question number 1. Yes, my dear teachers and my dear students, question number 1 and question number 2 is there. You will respond, answer these questions. These questions are there, my dear students. First, you will get these questions from your students orally. Okay, first you will get orally, you will crack them, you will provide information. After that, you will get these questions in their notebooks and also question number 2 on book. I am waiting for you. Pause the video, my dear student and teachers and get this activity in your class on their notebooks. Excellent job. So, what is our homework for today? Make sentences of words given in question number 3, book page number 91 in your notebooks. Yes, there is a question, question number 3 on your book is there, my dear students, on page 91. So, this is your homework for today. So, this is worksheet and this worksheet link is given below, my dear teachers. Provide it to your students and print it form. So, what we have covered today? Today, we learned about how poem can be recited through actions. We also learned how we recognize, find out and create rhyming words, how we can write central idea of a poem with accuracy. And in this way, we have covered up our SLOs, write central idea of the given poem in simple language, recite the poem with actions, recognize, find out, create and use more rhyming words. Okay, yes, my dear students, I hope you have enjoyed today's poem because we learned poem with actions. Perform this poem in an activity and also in your Friday ceremony also you can perform this poem. So, see you soon with a new lecture tomorrow. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.